Hey, Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, Mrs. Wilcock contacted me on Twitter and said, could I show how to draw mountains? Because that's what her class are doing in school this week. Well, I started practicing in my sketchbook and I realized mountains are actually a really difficult kind of thing to draw. So I went back to one of my heroes of drawing, to Albrecht Dürer, to see what he would do. And this is kind of a version of an Albrecht Dürer kind of mountain, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so, I think one of my favourite drawers is uh, Albrecht Dürer, who actually did a lot of printmaking, and I quite often look at his printmaking designs to see how he shades things, um, and they're quite an inspiration. And uh, so this is a, a mishmash of, of things. That's kind of an Albrecht Dürer kind of style, and I'm going to have this as a kind of Alpen what would you call it, Alpen kind of hill, looking out across an Alpen hill, and there's a little bit of a, a kind of shrubbery there, like that. And then we're just going to kind of make this really craggy. Very, very craggy. So it's quite cliffy, really. So i keep just doing this kind of stuff down there and that would be coming this way too and then there'll be all sorts of other lines like that and then we're probably going to want something another kind of mountainy thing in the distance going off in that direction I'm going to add an extra bit there, I think, and another bit on there, because <laughs> it doesn't look right. And then I'm going to do classic Albrecht Dürer kind of clouds in here. And I think I'm going to deal with this um, grassy bit here first, and the kind of trees and the shrubbery. And where the sticking over so this is going to be fairly light here I think we'll have them quite dark and now we're going to want some kind of shaping and modeling in these cliff crags and crevices and and I think you need to be not even so I'm doing some kind of thicker and some thinner and for instance here so here I'm kind of going all the way up narrower, bigger, thicker, and then I'm going to kind of just dot that to let it disappear. Here, yeah, so this is just kind of dotting away at the end. Now you can, by curving the lines, you can add a little bit of kind of shape to the whole thing if you want to. And you can curve it the other way, <laughs> which makes it do weird, weird things. So here you might want to Kind of curve something going down that way it does make it look a little bit weird. I think we can put some like little bits of sort of independent shading in as we go along as well. So in terms of a kind of a mountain landscape, I think this is sort of quite romantic. I think, <laughs> and uh, the trouble is when you're kind of asked to draw mountains, there's so many different types, and each. Um, it, you know, depending on what the mountain is made of and the kind of period that the mountains were laid down, they all kind of erode in different structures and it depends how the earth has sort of scrunched up the... <laughs> and sort of folded up the land to create the mountain. So each mountain is entirely different. And as soon as you, <laughs> I find as soon as you draw a mountain, it just doesn't look right because you start comparing it with different kinds of mountains. And I think, and also you'll probably maybe, you know, if you're brought up near mountains, you know your mountains and other mountains kind of look different. So I suppose everyone has a kind of a, a child's imagination idea of what a mountain is in their head. So it's very difficult, to, <laughs> very difficult to draw that, I suppose best thing is to go and copy what Disney does because that's probably the idea that most people have in their heads. And now we've got this kind of face all the way up here so I'm going to 
Let's put a bit of sort of texture in there. And this is a question of just adding texture all the way up here. And you notice here I'm flicking from right to left. And also now if you give a little kind of a curve on the front, then you can give it a bit of smooth <laughs> curveness feel to the edge to to it as well. So the line, the shape of the line that you do has a big effect on the, the sort of the structure and the feel of how it how it all is. So here I'm going to give this a bit of curve as well, I've decided. I don't know why. Now I'm going left to right so that I'm sort of following this line and not going over it. So here I'm creating a kind of a little valley here by changing the curve and the angle of the of the uh, cross hatching or the hatching that I'm putting in there. And maybe I'll do something similar here. So I'm giving this quite an angle there. But then I'll do the same the other way. So it becomes a kind of a little kind of hanging valley thing going on there. And then we want to put these kind of clouds in there. We might put a couple of little extra ones in there. And Dura would then put this kind of sky shading in along the white side here to make it stand out more. This is a real kind of woodcut printing technique. And similarly here. And then we get sky coming in underneath these clouds as well. No, I'm just going to add a bit more here. I'm not going to cross hatch because I think that will, because there isn't really any cross hatching on here. It's all going in single directions, but I feel this needs to be darker. So I'm just adding more kind of lines on top just to make that a bit darker. And then this can maybe have some tonal value in there. That's probably the word I'm looking for. In here, so this is now cross hatching, <laughs> which I said I wasn't going to do. There you are, how to draw romantic mountains in the Albrecht Dura style. There we are. If you'd like to know how to draw mountains a bit more easily, click here. If you'd like to do the mystery drawing, click here. <laughs> click up here to make sure that you are subscribed to the Shoe Render Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.